The city's growing gun violence has Madison's mayor tackling the issue. It's prompting Mayor Soglin to jumpstart a proposal to strengthen neighborhood leadership. Lena Jones has more on the mayor's efforts and the response from grassroots organizations. Lena? Well, the mayor planned to have staff review the proposal later this week, but in light of continuing gun violence, Soglin announced his plans today in a news conference. In order to stop the violence, Mayor Soglin believes the people who live in those neighborhoods need to take leadership. People have to speak up and say, no more, the violence has to stop. Mayor Paul Soglin says stopping recent gun violence starts in neighborhoods. We need the cooperation of people who know the gangsters, know where the guns are. Those guns are in cars, those guns are in homes. They are being carried. We need to know who they are. Soglin is proposing a one-time training program that he hopes will provide permanent neighborhood leadership. It would target 8 to 10 neighborhoods to build community. Alder Paul Skidmore says it's a start, but we asked if that's a solution that would work fast enough. These crimes are happening now. People are dying now. What's the immediate fix? I think we need to talk to uh, the chief about what can we do to allocate our resources to get into the key areas. We need enforcement. That's the ultimate. Uh, uh, the people that are shooting, the people that are murdering, they need to know that they can't get away with it with, uh, with impunity. Madison is changing. Um, um, this is, you know, definitely, um, I've said this before, as far as it needs to be a really all hands on deck. Anthony Cooper's group, the Focused Interruption Coalition, has been tasked with responding to violent events in the city, including this latest shooting. He says one program is simply not enough. One neighborhood is not going to be able to do everything by themselves. We have to, and when I say we, that means everyone has to come together and work together on these issues. And that's something that has, it doesn't just happen just one day. This is something that has to go on and on. Now, the proposal is estimated to cost around $35,000 to $40,000. It would have to receive council approval. If it does, the program would start this fall and last until next summer or spring. Belina Jones joining us in studio tonight. Belina, thank you.